I'm saying uh, I saw one real good one. Uh, you know, if you're driving to a Casper Cave, a big guy that standing over there about, you know, Casper is a free, a little pre-toed canyon. And on the most northerly leg of that pre-toed canyon, standing over there near the cliff edge was a real big ram. I mean a big ram. Well, welcome back to another video. We are in Del Rio, Texas, more so Comstock, better known as Del Rio area. And this is our home for the next few days. My buddy Carson invited me out here to do some hunting. We're gonna be targeting the infamous, notorious Awdad out here in the canyons near the Pecos and Devil's River. We're actually really close to Lake Amistad. That's a super famous bass fishing lake in Texas as well. So really cool area. We just got to the house, we're unloading some gear. We actually walked up to the door and we saw fresh boot tracks and they lead on into the house. There's a mud trail. It looks like someone was walking around here. We're super close to the border. Like you can literally see Mexico from here. We think it's border patrol, but you never know. Carson said that, uh, they leave the doors to the house unlocked now because previously people were breaking in and destroying things. This is a place, super unconventional style of house. We've got like a double wide link to like a concrete section of house and then some other odd section. But check this out. There's a very cool bathroom in here. Here's a bedroom. All right, just fix the lighting. But this is the bathroom. We've got a bathtub here. And then, look at this walk-in shower. It looks like an Aztec temple. Yeah, this is the bathroom. Got another bedroom in here. Look at that, check that out. How convenient is that? We got our bed right there and a toilet. There you go, there's your master bedroom. And then, of course, gotta have a urinal. Necessities. The light switch is inside the cabinet. Bro, what? Who built this house? Or whatever this contraption is. Call him Clyde. All right, so I actually just noticed this. This is the room I'm gonna stay in. But check that out. Why? Why a full mirror on the entire wall of a bedroom? <laughs> is this the luxurious balcony? Yeah, massive. <laughs> oh, this is the concrete building right here. And then this is the double wide, and then what is that? Just a wooden house? Yeah another wooden section attached to another wooden section. All right, so that is the homestead for the next couple days. We're actually gonna be up here for, I believe, three or four days. But back on the topic of all that, I was actually doing some reading on the way up here and found out that they were actually introduced to Texas in the 1900s. Uh, they came from North Africa and they kind of just took over the Rocky Hills of West Texas and have since then really thrived here. As you guys have seen in my videos from Kerrville, if you guys have watched those, we have all that there. But this terrain up here is much, much more suited. However, since it is so open out here, we're probably gonna have to take a very long shot with a rifle. In Kerrville, we do a lot of bow hunting for them, but here Carson says that you can't really get too much closer than two to 300 yards. So it's gonna be out there, but we got a big telephoto lens to hopefully get some footage of that. Hopefully find them and uh, really just explore the terrain out here. Last trip that Carson was out here, the big ones, the big rams eluded him, but as Tim Wells says, hopefully we can get us a big Louie. But yeah, pretty much um, for Audad, what you wanna look for is a ram that is like 30 inches or longer. That's pretty much the minimum line for what is considered a trophy. Carson's shot one that's like 35 inches out here. So there's definitely some Mac daddies roaming the hills, but really the main thing is just really being able to spot them. So we're really gonna have to cover ground, glass a lot and pick apart these hills. There's tons of underbrush, which is gonna make it difficult. Those all that are really gonna be able to camouflage. But if we can pick them apart while glassing and put in the time, we should be able to see some cool stuff. You guys stay tuned, we got plenty of time up here to hunt. We're gonna get everything completely 
unloaded from the truck and they're gonna go around this evening and see if we can find some Audad today and then uh, we'll proceed from there. You don't know when you're gonna see them. And right this time of year, I imagine the big rams are so low, they're probably all by themselves. Uh, we are out here driving around, looking around. Check out that view. Super steep canyon, immense drop offs. We're just glassing opposite cliff faces here. I can definitely see you spending time looking hard to spot a tiny little dot on the other side. All right, we're glassing around, haven't really seen anything yet. There's some goats miles and miles away. Right, Carson's about to show me this no, old that oil pipeline. It's not. The other one at the other side is a lot better. What? <laughs> Sounds weird, right? <laughs> Wait. Hello? Dude, that is wild. <laughs> I couldn't imagine being a raccoon or something and just crawling up there and slipping down. No way out of there. So first evening hunt, didn't see an Audad. We went over, glassed some deep, deep ravines, deep cliffs, saw some whitetail, but pretty uneventful first afternoon. We're back out here this morning, bright and early, going to some new spots this morning, taking the old Colorado on a nice off-road overlanding, but uh, yeah, we're just gonna drive around, glass around, check out some spots, some canyons, and see what we see. Yep, Audad. See an Audad? Yeah. Well, Carson says he sees a couple Audad, which is a great sign. We're gonna get the spot and scope out and get a better look at him. All right, so we actually just drove up and got a lot closer to those Audads, but even with a 400 millimeter lens, we weren't really able to get close enough to get video. So if they are that far, we're probably just gonna do pictures and show you guys what we're looking at. Um, but those two actually just trotted down the hill. A white tail is behind them, so I don't know if that spooked it or what. But at this point, we're getting out. We're about to start walking, hiking far into the hills, and hopefully we can find some more doing just what we're doing, glassing around. Drop down here. Drop down, look up into this this canyon here, and we'll be able to see what comes around the corner here. And then as we come back around, we'll see the riverside. You can just see a deep, deep pool of green water. That is the Pecos River. I ought to see an odd ad around it, you'd think. Talk about perfect timing. Just checking out the view here. <laughs> And it looks like a perfect spot for an Audad. And I guess it is. Hey, is he on our cliff side? Okay. So the Audad's on our, the Audad's on the other side, but he's really close right down the hill. Strap on the action hat here. Oh, yeah, oh my gosh. The odd hat's right over here on this cliff side. I'll probably have to zoom it in and post. Alright, so it appears to be a baby odd hat. So we're gonna keep kind of working along this cliff face, see if we can see some more. Let's go right over here. Okay. Carson says he thinks he saw possibly a couple more. We're gonna work our way. See if we can spot a few.
too well since they blend in just amazingly, but it's crazy how well you can hear them from that far away. It's just so quiet in the canyon. Two, three, I can't even count them, there's too many. They all look fairly young. You can hear every single rock that they step on. Yet they're just way across the canyon there. That goes to show how well stuff can hear you as well. Better than hanging out on giant boulders. <laughs> Where's your big pop at? I know we need Big Louie. <laughs> big Mac Daddy. Big Louie. Wow, there's a bunch. And there's just a little baby mounted up on a giant boulder just hanging out. <laughs> that one stick right there. <laughs> there's one looking at us. Just staring at us. We've been found. Wow. She don't trust. So what do you call the babies they use? Use are the females. Use are females, okay. Yeah, they're munching on that cactus. They come out here in October when they're in the rut, catch them fighting and we probably hear it from a mile away. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. That's a good picture. Oh yeah. Oh, now I can see him. Oh wow. Dude. So they're hauling, and look how steep that is. Oh my gosh. There's this one little ledge they can all go on. It's straight up. Going it's single up. file. Those babies can leap, look, look dude. Oh my gosh. Dude. It's wild, right? They just go single file. Dude, how do you walk on that? Doesn't make sense. It's like 75 degree angle at least. Mm, little hard hoofs. <laughs> They've got like the front of their hoof is like a, just a hard, you know, nail type stuff. Yeah, yeah. And then the back is just nice soft pad like climber shoes. And they just go whoosh, straight up. Just sitting literally on the edge of a cliff here. <sighs> just saw our first big, big pack of Audad. We think we just saw another one. Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This, this is such a cool oversight, though. Look at this. Bacos River right under us. Doesn't get much cooler than that. We found like a perfect spot to sit here. A little elevated rock ledge to rest the gun, but there's cactus right where we want to sit. Big group? Yeah. Straight up the ridge. They're feeding almost at the top over there. That just goes to show you these Audad are not scared of being on those steep cliff faces. We saw the majority of the goats in the roughest, steepest terrain of the ranch. Do you usually see them in the steep canyons like that or they more so kind of spread out? Always. Sometimes you catch them on the top, but they're just coming over the hill, you know. I mean, we saw a couple up here in the subtle 
subtle hills, but as soon as we got over to the Pecos, where it just drops off, we found like three different groups. So I guess you just gotta find the rough, gnarly terrain and you'll find all that. I wonder if they do that because they like it or they kind of feel safe from predators there. They just feel safe. They'll come up to the top of the and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know if a, a mountain lion's gonna be scaling the kind of cliffs they are. All right, well, we are going out for the afternoon hunt. First full day out here. We're just doing some exploring every day. Every hunt's a different spot on the ranch. We're just gonna see what happens. Carson saying that this is called Dead Man's Canyon. And don't really wanna find out why. I'm pretty sure I can figure that out myself. If you get up on top of one of these cliff sides, it's gonna take a while to fall. Check out the trail of white rubble going all the way down and then splat. Giant boulder destroyed. Whew. We're just doing some exploring right now. This morning we hunted, went back, got some breakfast, took a quick nap, and uh, Carson says we're about to go check out Casper Cave. It's got some cool ending paintings there that we're gonna go check out. I'll show you guys those, and then after that we'll go see if we can find some more Audad. Can't even grasp how high this actually is. It's so insane. So we we're going into the penthouse. Oh, we're gonna need the climbing skills here. Penthouse cave. Dang, it goes deep, like down deep. You going here as well? This is the main part. I don't know if that's... I don't think that leads anywhere. It might have just had a section fall off. Wow. You see how it's all black on the top from this side? They got this big boulder here protecting them too. That's cool. I can tell deer like it in here. <laughs> this is like a throne, dude. You can just come up here and look out. Wow. Like these perfectly ground holes. That's where they grind like spices and stuff. You can see like this stuff right here. Yeah. You can take rocks and grind it up. This place somewhere. It's like sandpaper up here. Like coral. Looks like ancient coral. <laughs> it's so wild. And this entire canyon was just encumbered with water. And there was megalodons cruising. Swordfish cruising. This is what? This is a big fossil. Oh yeah, pterodactyl. <laughs> so are there paintings in this one, or are they in Casper Cave? Casper, there's one in here, but you can't really see it to the right camera. Oh yeah. Wonder what they drew, like a porcupine? <laughs> that would look like. Oh my gosh, yeah. Scorpion. Or it could be like the bristles of a, a bush. A lot like that. One of those spiky plants. Like a bristle worm.
sacrifice the centipede. <laughs> and as soon as I put the centipede into the fire, then all that came over the corner. Dude, when are we lighting this fire? We gotta start a fire, dude. We gotta find us a centipede. Just grab the gun. We're gonna walk up a ways. See if we can get a better look at these dads. Get around. Maybe sneak up on them. Get the Swarovski scoop. Ready to rock and roll. Well, there's quite a few odd at over there. Nothing giant. Some smaller young ones. So we're gonna hold off and go see if we can find. A papa, Mac Daddy, oh dad, somewhere else. Carson, we're over here glassing. We've been driving around for a little bit and finally spotted another pack. Haven't really gotten a good look at them yet. Just went back to the truck, got the gun and the cameras. And we're gonna go up here and see if there's anything worth taking a shot at. Gotta be quiet. Gotta stay low. I think they're right under us in this canyon. So I couldn't really tell if there's any Mac Daddies. But we're backtracking. We're gonna pull back around and hopefully walk in from over here where we should have a better look. We'll keep our distance. They're so close that we're having to stay super low and be very quiet. So. I just 
some of that. I was looking at the two on the right. Turns out there's three and the big one was in the garage. See how far they go. Is he still sitting there? No, he's, he's down in the, the bottom. He must have been bedded up way down in there. Yeah. He's a nice ram. I don't it's know definitely he's bigger than those other ones yeah. he's looking at. Turns out there was one odd ad in there that we never saw that was bigger than both of the ones we were looking at. And by the time we saw them, they had already hopped up and were moving through the canyon. What we're doing right now is hiking off to the side. We're going to see if we can intercept them here. All right, update, it's about 12 o'clock noon right now. We've been, whoa, we've been driving around, looking at all that. We actually just saw a group, saw a nice one. Um, but we jumped them before we saw them. And we don't have a gun, so we're actually going to Casper Cave right now. Yes, Casper the Ghost. Is it haunted? We'll find out, but supposedly there is a painting of like an actual ghost in the cave from thousands and thousands of years ago and then i think there might be a trident if i heard carson correctly so we're gonna go check that out real quick and then this evening we're gonna head to the area that those all dad ran off to so so far we've seen probably two decent rams and instead of chasing them and pushing them out we're gonna wait hold off and go do another evening sit here tonight but yeah like i said we're gonna go check out this cave First, which should be pretty interesting. I think these Indian caves are pretty awesome. Good historic sites to go check out that you really don't really ever have opportunities to go look at. So is it on our cliff side or is it on the other? Right down. You can see okay. the you can see the opening of it back down there. Gotcha. Right this is insane. It's super steep. There's just this little you can see the cedar oh, yeah. So what was this from? The uh Calvary Trail? Yeah, military came through and they had to build a trail all the way down, all the way down these cliffs, make it across the river and there's another trail on the other side where they came up and out, uh -huh. taking cannons and all kinds of heavy shit through this. Huh. So this trail actually goes by the cave we went to yesterday and it is pretty well built I'd say. I mean for navigating art manpower. heavy artillery through here, they made a pretty good path. It's just Makes it easy getting down here too. Check this out. Oh yeah, look at this. They built up all these rocks to make like a little wall. Let's keep stuff from tumbling down to its death. These are these old cedar posts are still here. Oh my gosh, yeah. So this cedar post is part of the steps they made to go down. They kind of built up rocks here to make a stairwell. There's some more stakes holding the, the steps down. Well, the path was making it easy for whoa, a while there until the brush just started springing up. Ow, ow, I got my eye. I feel like this cave is gonna be really cool. This one sounds like it's a little more well known, oh my gosh. Wow. Oh my gosh. How did they get up there, dude? I don't know, I've tried climbing up there, you can't do it. We are in the cave and I already see a giant, what looks like an etching. Yeah. Right? There's a rock down here, there's a whole something. bunch of them. They tally up stuff. Let's look at it. This is surreal. So the one that I already saw, it looks like a, I don't know, a sun? It's way up there. I don't know how they got up there. It's probably 15 feet up the wall. I'll show you guys here in a second. Casper Cave. Oh yes, those are paintings. That's not an etching. That's right. There's a bunch of markings up here. 
Oh my gosh. Right next to a trident. So, yeah, Casper the Ghost. So I guess they kind of got up right there. But yeah. even if you got there, that's... It must have been yeah. big Indians. These are a lot different than like the Comanches and Apaches. These were way before. How old do they, do they say these are? Like 12,000 years. Holy cow. This is what the archaeologist told me. That's still pretty eerie that they knew what a, a ghost looked like. Like to our present day ghost. It literally looks like a sheet is over it. Like yeah. the Casper in the movies. All right, now we're walking down to a spot. Carson says there's hash marks. Whoa. Oh my gosh. Dude. They're literally tallies with cross hashes. Like that's not natural right there. Dude, that is unreal. So do y'all know exactly why they did that? Or it's just a... It's a mystery. A mystery, yeah. I'm assuming this brush wasn't all grown up when well, they went down the river. Yep, more clamshells, flint. Oh yeah, look at that. You got, if you looked here, you would definitely find arrowheads. Or at least if someone came and dug. I just don't know how many people have been here before that had the same idea. You can almost slide down that cliff, it feels wet, drops off right there. Yeah, Indian water slide right there. Dude, how, it doesn't get much better than that. All right, check that out. A little breezy up here, but perfect diving board. Perfect view of the canyon. Giant bridge over here. paintings up here some sort of circular there's like a long deal there with cross ashes it's like a shell with stuff in there we just hiked all the way up this cliff face and all the way up here but check out that drop off one misstep we're going into the Pecos. At this point, we've already kind of reached the, uh, the flatter end of the top, but you still get the idea. You gotta really watch your step up here. Look at that drop off. Unreal. So many little cactus landmines out here like little sea urchin bombs on the ground. The invisible sticky cactuses.
been seeing many old all daddies just youngins and females so it's been a grind out here we've been working hard for it conditions have not been ideal as of today but we're making the best of it After days of glass and cliff sides, hiking for miles through unforgiving terrain, we found no shortage of all that, but we were, however, bested by the big Louie we were after. We'll be back for more, but until next time, we've come up empty-handed. <laughs>